Atlas City family, what is up? Art and Bobby coming at you outside. We're actually gonna do all the cooking outside. The question really is, Art and I have a bet. How many times will I have to go in the kitchen? Art said the over under is what? I said a minimum of five times. <laughs> I said, I'll take the over for sure. Cause I thought about everything I need, but we'll, we'll come up with other stuff and you know, it'd be hard to say. Art's getting drizzled on from the automatic water above her, so all, all that good stuff. Uh, we're gonna make an easy summer recipe. We've got some beautiful pasture raised chicken thighs. I'm gonna make a Brad Gojujang style parum uh, marinade. We're gonna throw them on the grill, which I got really hot today. If you follow on uh, Flav City Instagram, I made those beautiful uh, tikka masala beef skewers with minted yogurt sauce with five ingredients. It was crazy. Then we'll make a little salad. Art's getting the nice dribble on him. I think around five o'clock is the automatic watering time, Art. I see that. Thank you for so telling guys, me now. So uh, guys, check in. Leave comments down below, as you know. And also, say hi to Art. Art, go selfie style. Hey. Say hello. Well, fine, I'll do that. So I go to Jang Parm in the house. Nice. Good to see y'all. Good to be here with you. Nice. Lou from Area Happy 51's Tuesday. here. Keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. We got uh, Lederick from Ohio. We got Bar uh, Gar uh, Goju Jing Parm in the house. Where do you live, Brad? I forgot. Atlanta. 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 Oh, the girls are in the house. Hey, sweet peas. Maggie Bee's in the house. Oh, with a fresh bowl of fruit. Now we're talking, sisters. All right. Oh. You lost your pants, right. Rose. Well, I figure it's gonna be really hot. It's out gonna, here. it is gonna be hot out here. Rose and Desi are here, um, and I figure why not just cook everything outside? Uh, Art and I have been in the kitchen with Desi cooking all day. Let's do everything outside and have fun. So um, everyone's checking in from Kansas City. Happy from birthday LA. to Jesse Brumet. Nice. Happy birthday, Jesse. Jesse's here. Happy birthday, my man. Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina is here. Uh, a stone's throw from White Oak Pasture. Oh, I'm, I'm very jealous. I'm thinking about ordering Brad directly from White Oaks because Thrive Market's just been out of uh, their beautiful pork for so long now. Daddy's going to pour so some rosé. Today is a total rosé day. We have somebody who's Korean saying that gochujang has huge carbs in it. Um, let's see. This one, not so much because it's... Now, this one, because they don't put any um, sugar in this and there's no filler. So look at this one. This one only has five total and four net carbs. For everyone wishing for that uh, rosé the other day, today's a rosé all day kind of day. We got a super chat here from Paper City Gamer Jeff, Western Mass, in the house. Shalom also to you. So I have these lovely uh, pasture-raised uh, chicken thighs from that company, Shepherd Meat, the Flav City fan started. Are you getting hammered there, Art? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you move a little over? Uh, I don't got the angle there. Uh, <laughs> Things I do for the angle. <laughs> Art's getting uh, watered on by the automatic watering system. That's <laughs> mm. sweet. Mm. All right. Let's make a gojujang marinade. Now, wait, wait. Somebody wants to see the front of that bottle. Coconut Secret makes some of the best products. Coconut aminos and gojujang and hoisin. Traditionally, gojujang is made with soy, that that? but they also had cane sugar and stuff. This is made with organic miso and coconut aminos. Amazing okay. stuff. Typically a fermented soybean product. This is a fermented miso uh, chickpea. Bobby, product. just a reminder to keep it up. Uh, Joyce Massey gave you a $4.99 super chat. Oh, Joyce. Joyce must bicep, have noticed my biceps bicep there. Thank you, Joyce. Hair. Thank you, I appreciate that. Oh, by the way, um, the clothes, I talked about it a few weeks ago. They're from that company called Roan. It's like Lululemon for guys. I got a promo code for my Instagram followers just because I thought you guys might want it. I put it down below, it's 15% off. I get like a 5% commission, but it's really good workout clothes and casual stuff. So all the fellas out there, check out the uh, link down below for that, for the keto wine, rose all day, all that stuff. So a little bit of goju jang goes in there. And then I want to put in, they also make this garlic coconut aminos. They actually invented coconut aminos. It's a beautiful, beautiful product. And the ingredients are super clean. It's the coconut nectar with garlic, real seasonings. It's great. Mm. Did you know these guys invented the, uh, you told me that, man. the aminos? Mm. Raise your hand if you saw Desi's uh, peach crisp on uh, Instagram today. A five ingredient peach crisp with my favorite sugar-free, dairy-free ice cream. This one's sweet, Misha. Mmm, Rose, these are really good. Here, here you go. Somebody's asking what you're eating. Strawberries, organic strawberries and uh, 
organic grapes on sale everywhere now. It's really, really, really lovely. Just compost that over there. <laughs> okay, a little bit of fish sauce. Fermented fish sauce, another umami bomb. They actually make this stuff by stacking up a ton of fish, salting them, letting them ferment, and then squeezing the juice out of them. Yeah, I cleaned it. A little dab will do ya, but a great umami yeah, booster. Kind of like brill cream. It's, it's the brill cream of the culinary world is what it is, Art. Uh, let's throw a little bit of sesame oil in there. And if you want it to be lazy, to be honest, just get the um, coconut aminos, the garlic flavor, or the uh, teriyaki sauce. I'm going to eat you. Mwah! My sweet. Is there that, sugar in fish sauce? Uh, no, there is zero added sugar. It's just, let's see the ingredients here. It should just be oh. anchovies and salt. That's it. They stack a bunch of anchovies on each other. Is that pure or toasted sesame oil? Uh, it's toasted. I don't really use untoasted or pure very often. I like, oh, I like my sesame oil, I like my women, strong. Toasted is really nice. And then I'll take my garlic here. And then don't even take the peel off. So far, so good. I brought everything out that I didn't have to go inside for yet. I uh, guess if you're just joining us, welcome. We're doing al fresco summer recipes. Really easy but tasty. And it's 100% keto and paleo tonight. We're doing grilled marinated chicken thighs with an Asian marinade. And then a crunchy red uh, cabbage and kale salad with a creamy kind of Asian dressing. Uh, please keep, uh, keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Rose Honey Bunny's in the house. She turned 13 months old today. If you saw my Instagram story yesterday, she set a record for walking from the couch to the dishwasher yesterday. That was mm -hmm. quite fun. We can, maybe we can show a little bit, Rose, after. Oh, the flies are showing up all of a sudden. And uh, it was very, very nice. And that's what's going on, right? Let's see. Love and Rose's bowl. <laughs> Chicago, actually, it was hot today, but it feels nice. It kind of cooled down a little bit right here, right? Maggie B's in the house. Alexandria, Shelly's here, loving it. I want this marinade just to get a little more loose. I'm going to splash in some filtered water. And just for a little bit of salt, some tamari. Richard Marcotte says, 13 months. Blink and it'll be 13 years. Yeah, dude. We keep hearing that. When she was first born, how many people told us on Instagram? Like, it's going to fly by, it's going to fly by. The thing is, it has flown by, but we even enjoy it, I think, every day of it, because luckily we get to be home pre-COVID and see her every day and spend time with her. Pre-COVID and post-COVID. Pre-COVID, post-COVID, and forever. Forever, ever? Forever, ever? All right, so that's our marinade. Just check it for seasoning. Joe Hernandez just got your book recipe. Thank you. Loves them. Thank you, Joe. And you'll see in the book, I use a lot of tamari. And a lot of people on keto paleo won't use soy, but this is a fermented gluten-free version of uh, soy sauce that has funk. It has umami. I can't live without it. What's the Mariah Carey song? I can't live without, can't live without, I, can't live without I can't live without tamari. So this is delicious. It's a little spicy, <clears throat> a little salty. Ooh, it's spicy to get me in the back. And I'll pour it over my chicken thighs here. You said Mariah Carey has this one? I'm thinking, how do, I, called, I how do I live without you? Else. How do I live without you? How do I live without you? That's another oh, song, okay. I think. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of. Okay, and then I'll mix it up. Look, I even thought so much, you guys, is to bring my glove out here today. Michael Jackson style. It's small, though. We ran out of the large gloves. Mm, we had these pre-COVID, and I'm guessing now they're like, no, 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 price no, has no, gone no. up double. Watching from Hotlanta. Oh, you cut it with your fish. Oh, with your nail. <clears throat> I can't even get this on my hand. These are too small. Uh, Trisha Yearwood. These are, uh, Trisha Yearwood, oh wow. That's the version of the song I'm thinking of. Ah, so uh, check this out. Look how beautiful this marinade. Now normally, you want to do this for about two hours or even overnight. I'm going to do it for 20 minutes. Just because this is all about quick and easy. See? The glove doesn't fit. <laughs> That's right. I would say this is the O.J. Simpson of uh, culinary gloves here. Hey, hey, happy Tuesday, says Viviana. Happy Tuesday. Ah, Viviana's in the house. Oh, Rosie. Garlic, too sharp. I hope Viviana, you appreciated Art's. Uh... Rose is eating raw garlic. Rose, that's only good when you have a, a sore throat. Art's uh, Independence Day ma lime burrito polish. Okay, I'm gonna fire up the grill. Then we'll start uh, 
chopping up uh, the red cabbage and the kale and making uh, a little dressing, all right? Mm. Uh, see what else is going on here. Muscato. Madeline Chopsky in the house. Oh, let's see. <laughs> That's Madeline's right. asking, where's Rose's tongue? <laughs> Rose, there's a question for you. Where is your tongue? <laughs> there you go, Maddie. There it is. Mm. Mm. The keto rosé is crazy. How many? 0.3 grams of sugar and carbs. Beautiful. Okay, let's put that away from Rose. Simmer is Rose. Simmer down. Okay, I'm going to fire up the grill here. Hey, Rose. I'll do three dance burners dance. here. Some there we go. Dance, dance, dance. Ooh. Dance, dance, dance. So we're dinner. pretty much done. Oh, you should I be. I don't Brad. Why are you? Why we're are pretty you much done with cookbook uh, photos. Today we did the photo for Desi's uh, five ingredient peach crisp with ice cream. The ice cream we chose was the uh, so delicious, sugar free, dairy free, delicious. We still have a little bit left. Uh, we did my recipe for. Um, so remember those. Um, Keftas, or I'm sorry, those kebabs we made last week. It inspired me to do a five ingredient version for the cookbook. I really, really suggest you guys go to uh, go to my Instagram stories because what I did is I made a tikka masala beef kebab and I took grass fed beef. I got this amazing tikka masala sauce at Whole Foods. It had like 10 ingredients in there, including garam masala, a little bit of non-GMO yogurt, herbs, spices, galangal, extra virgin olive oil. I folded that in the mixture for the second ingredient with mint, the third ingredient, salt and pepper, three ingredients. Formed that on the kebabs, grilled them, served them with a Greek yogurt sauce, laced with more of the tikka masala. And uh, what was the fifth ingredient for? Oh, grilled peppers. How, how good was that, babe? We devoured that for lunch. It was epoch. So darn, too, so darn good. So that was a cool thing that like, we're in the middle of this book and we already hit our quota for 50 recipes, but I'm like, why not do a version of that one? And because the egg was the binder for our kebabs last week, I used the tikka masala paste as the binder and the flavoring agent. It was a home run. It was so good. Desi formed the kebabs, of course, because they have to look good for the cookbook, but check out my Instagram story. People are asking when you're gonna get a new Let's grill. Sides. A new, a new grill? Yeah. Once we move. I'm not going to get a grill before that because I want to get a really good one and I don't want to move it. So we have to tough it out this year and uh, keep this grill. Tuffy Road style. I also want to, here, this is the mixture actually. We have a little bit of the leftover uh, tikka masala kebab. I'm just going to grill that. The amount of flavor in there is crazy. Make sure she doesn't touch that nasty stuff over there. Babe, there's a lot of neat stuff around. I don't know what I like. Shelly Hunter wants to know oh, what's in the marinade. Can you recap? Uh, <laughs> what's in the marinade? Yes. You know, just hold Rose. I'll get her in a minute. <laughs> the marinade was all the stuff out here. Goju jang, water, garlic, coconut aminos, fish sauce, tamari, water, toasted sesame oil. But if you want it really easy, get these two ingredients right here. No, you want to get it here. Get this and mix it with the, where's the goju jang? With this, my dear and you're good to go. Let it marinate a couple hours, ideally. Now, oh, I didn't get a big bowl for the, uh, <laughs> for the salad. If That's you're my... playing the Flav City drinking game, if he goes <laughs> inside, there's one. I gotta go in for one thing, but I wanna think ahead, right? What else do I need? So, by the way, here's a great tip. If you never wanna buy a big head of cabbage, ask the produce guy to cut it in half and they'll do it for you. That way you don't have to commit to the whole thing. Sherry Howe from MG, welcome. Um, another cool thing, ask the butchers to take the yeah to take the uh, bone out of a chicken thigh if you want the skin on but the bone out so it cooks quickly take it to the counter they'll take the bone out you can save the bone make stock with it and then you have a boneless skin on chicken thigh you can make crispy like we did in the previous cookbook amazing finley just said did someone say drinking game <laughs> finley Finley's ear perked up. And this is the first Willem uh, Dafoe reference of today's episode. Art, have you seen the movie To Live and Die in L.A.? You re resemble Willem Dafoe a lot. I love I've not that. seen that movie, but I get compared to Dafoe all the time. Well, go selfie style and show people who might not know what you look like, what they're talking about. Everyone say hi to ATA. Like 
some kids put sugar in their mouth. Rose put salt in Oh, my God. Mouth. Rose just put some unrefined Celtic sea salt. Do you taste the minerals, Everybody. Rose? I'm not one of the foe. Like, oh, it goes well with my S. Do you taste the rainbow of flavors? It's almost like a baby margarita. Salted yeah. rim, blood orange margarita. Huh? She knows. She knows. A little margar. Rose, you like the pepper? Rose, that's daddy's one of a kind pepper mills. Susan Cradour, oh, $4.99. Uh, Join the wine I, club. I gotta go fish. back in anyway. So. I don't know what you're doing here, but. Well, I didn't bring a garbage out, sister. All right, add that to the list. I gotta get a garbage and I gotta get a salad bowl. So, let me read Susan Cordua's super chat for Susan. Join the wine club and got first shipment today. Which one do I drink tonight? Rose, change my mind. I don't need to change your wine. It's a beautiful 90 degree day out there. Go, Rose. Um, if you haven't tried it yet, these guys are great. Uh, I work with them on a consistent basis. It's keto wine. What's keto wine? It's wine made without any added sugar to the fermentation process. It has zero chemicals. It won't give you a headache. 0.03 grams of carbs per glass. I have a discount on shipping. Click my link down below. For all the fellows out there, if you want some new workout clothes, these guys from Roan make great stuff. They are nice enough to give us a 15% promo code. Completely free. I'm not getting paid. Maybe a 5% commission on whatever you buy. Really, really good stuff. I've been wearing this all day, every day. Steve C, $5 super chat. I'm going to Costco now. Do you have a favorite Ooh. new item you purchased recently? I know there are so many. Ah, uh, let's see. I love the late night. You better hurry up because they close in 45 minutes here. Um, a favorite new item at Costco. So maybe someone can help me. A new item. New item. Mm. What's next or something? Yeah, what's like what's super new at Costco? Can anyone say? Mm. I mean the vital proteins collagen water. The flavored water water is the best deal ever there for a collagen. What else? This is Uncle Art's. Yes, organic is still sprayed, but it's not sprayed as much, and it's sprayed with organic approved uh, pesticides. That's the difference. What are we friends. talking about? Uh, someone said, uh, you, you know organic is sprayed, right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, somebody was asking, organic yes. cabbage or regular? Uh, conventional. You don't have to buy organic. It's not a dirty dozen. Uh, let's see. I, I don't know what... Uh, I can't think of a new item. Let me think on that one. <laughs> Rose, you're crazy. I'm going to go inside. Where do you get your goju, Jang? Um, Whole Foods. That brand, Coconut Secret. I'm going to be back. Someone watch Rose, please. Yeah, I need help with Rose. <laughs> Volunteers? Stingman is in the house. All right. Cramps quarters here. <laughs> Rose is getting into everything here. Rose is on That's the right. right now. Milwaukee Brewer will watch Rose. Oh. Come on, Milwaukee Brewer. You're supposed to be on top of that. Now the iPad fell over. Rose. <laughs> Hey, Rose. Rose. Rose, can you do some dancing? <laughs> shake, shake, shake. What's going on, Michael? Oh, hold on. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I, Arifa Sultani just said something. I mentioned to Bobby earlier today. Unsalted Kerrygold butter is now at the Costco. Oh yeah, Art mentioned that. That's fantastic. What's so, I mean, you think wine it is that? It's from That's the, the good stuff. Wine Club. -E it's only available online. Use my link in the description box for discounted shipping. Really small company. Very cool guys. Um, so why is that a big deal that unsalted is there? Because sometimes you're making recipes or baking, and you don't want the additional salt in the uh, in the actual uh, butter. You want to control it. Hey, Rose, are you monitoring comments? Oh, we got a new moderator there. Rose Honey Bunny. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Rose. Okay, so a little bit of cabbage is down. I get the kale. Now, we were talking about... No, no, touch with the thing. Oh, we were talking about cabbage. You can buy conventional. You don't have to buy organic. What about kale? Can you buy conventional too? Wow, this is challenging. Cooking outside with a toddler around all your yeah, stuff. It's very challenging. <laughs> I got to see my comments here, Rose Honey Bunny. Thank you. I'm going to moderate too. Moderators, moderate. I just put it on Moderators. the wrong side. Moderators, mod on. Okay, going for the one again. No, I'll give you S, Mom. I'll give you S. Here, Rose. Are you laughing at them? Give you some S. Here you go, my love. Some S? Mm. Okay. What happened here, Rose? 
Let's go live. Joe Hernandez, I'd go Costco over Sam's. Organic kale, organic kale. Need organic, dirty, super dirty. You're a dirty bird, exactly. The kale is uh, a dirty dozen. It's actually one of the top dirty dozen out there. Hey, Milwaukee Brewer, Milwaukee. $10. I'm trying to get away from the microwave oh, almost every day. Problems. I have a cup of coffee that is forgotten about and gets cold. Is there an easy way to reheat it? Um, microwave. I, I don't know, to be honest. And I don't even use a microwave. Easiest, Look at this. Way. Art, who uh, invented the uh, tong hack here? Who was uh, it? I'm terrible with names, but I recognize the combination of the name and the, uh, the avatar. I think it's if, Annette. If you're but, watching uh, now, thank you. Once again, just grab a pair of tongs. You don't need my fancy uh, kale stripping tool. Grab the tongs, put it around the base. Look at this, Rose. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, you kidding me, Rose? Look at that. It's clean as a whistle. Ah! <laughs> exactly. That's exciting. <laughs> right? Just gra and someone actually did this on Instagram, and they tagged me. They're like, game changer. I'm like, yes. Because I love hey. free hacks like that. John Boy. <laughs> yo, yo, what's up, Flav City? What up, John Boy? I just quoted Die Hard. Is that Ellis? Yeah. Hey, John Boy. <laughs> but the screen name is John Boy. Okay. Well, just. Rose is enjoying all the utensils. Good, Rose. Baby chef. Do, do, Baby do, 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 do. chef. Boop, do, 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 do. Baby chef. <laughs> What's Rose's first knife going to be? Like a ceramic one? Yeah. I wonder if Shun makes ceramic. The first knife type of thing would be like this curly uh, slicing tool. Oh, like for the avocados? Yeah, or like avocados or bananas. Ah. Yeah, but very soon we'll start introducing them. That sounds fun. Yeah, see, she wants some help. Yeah. Another cool thing about this salad is that it's really high in fiber between the kale and the red cabbage. Super high fiber, great for getting the poop moving. Great for prebiotics, feeding the gut and your bacteria. This is gut-friendly food, you guys. Finley's quoting Die Hard. He goes, I'm your white knight, the late Ellis. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so, you. you don't want that. What's a good blush vinaigrette salad dressing? <laughs> mm. I don't know of a blush one. For vinaigrettes, I would only buy Chosen Foods, Primal Kitchen, or uh, Bragg's. Where's Daddy's wine? Oh, Cheers, by the way, you guys. We got uh -oh. 800 people watching. Uh -oh. Cheers to Tuesday, to good weather, to summertime. What's she eating? What's she Garlic? eating? Gar You're eating the raw garlic? <laughs> if you haven't done so yet, leave a comment down she below. Just going for it. Let us know where you're watching from, uh, what you're making for dinner. We're making uh, grilled chicken thighs marinated in goju jang and coconut amin nose. Oh, <laughs> and uh, we're going to make a crisp, a crunchy uh, kale and uh, red cabbage slaw. Rose, we need a spotter just for you, sister, mister. My goodness gracious. Yeah. Go okay. back to the garlic. What's that? It's got the garlic. Hey, maybe you feel a little sore in your mouth, Rose. You want some garlic to kill it? Huh? <laughs> Silly Billy. I'll do one more thing. I kale here. Once again, you have to break the bottom if it's too big. But look at that. Oh, love it. No, this is actually better than the kale stripper that I recommend on my Amazon shop page. So I would say don't buy that. But all my other kitchen gear is on there. I don't want that big hunk of garlic that Rose was gnawing on. <laughs> oh. what, do you, what do you use to keep your knife sharp? I tried the whetstone, but it's hard to get that technique down. No, nah, don't even bother. In between uses, get a honing blade to keep it straight and sharp. Honing steel. Honing steel. Send it to a, a knife sharpener every two months. My knives are overdue. I got to send them to uh, Shun or find a knife sharpener in your town. Like if you live in Chicago, Northwestern Cutlery, right Art? Yeah. That'd be the place to go. Okay, put that back. If Rose doesn't throw it on the ground. I was gonna bring a grater out for this, but I'll just cut this onion, or this uh, carrot very small. Oh, don't let her, I don't wanna waste that. Man, these grapes are the bomb, Rose. Here. Oh, Here, have a grape. No grape? No grape? Oh, you already had a bunch. breaking question for Rose. Rose, there's a question for you. Who is it? Uh, Jill Chopsky from Michigan wants to know, Rose, where are your toes? Where are your toes, Rose? 
There it is. There it is. Very good. Very good. Uh, one more question here from, uh, looks like Christina. Rose, Christina wants to know, where are your hands? <laughs> is that your hands? <laughs> All right. Good answers from Rose Honey. Straight to you guys. Shout out to Audrey Godin or Godin. Well, I Shout out. Mommy does the hard work of teaching her that, and then it just, then it just shows up. <laughs> I'm Audrey, not saying I invented it. <laughs> Audrey asked, why does Bobby look like my dad? I'm a dad, what can I say? Does your dad have monster guns like me? Uh, he must be a really cool guy. All right, come over here for a sec. All right. <laughs> I just finished filming the What I Eat in a Day as a 42-year-old man video last night. That'll come out soon. So, got our chicken marinating here. I'm going to get the oil spray. Uh, oil spray, and then I had a pair of tongs somewhere. Metal ones. Ah, uh, metal ones I wanted. Shelly Hunter, $4.99. Oh, happy, here. happy 13 month of rose. She looks dark. Thank you. Her summer yellow hair bow. Yeah. Thank you. 13 months. Pretty exciting. All right, we got our goju jing marinated pasture raised chicken thighs. Pasture raised. You can't get that at the grocery store. Um, it's that Flav City fan who started that amazing company called Shepherd Meat. You can use Flav City promo code and get 15% off your order. I get all my bones there and all that Tasmanian uh, grass-fed beef I get from there, too. Have you given up on the TikTok bandwagon? Oh, yeah, I, absolutely. Plus, they're about to get shut down by the government for like stealing everyone's privacy. Forget about it. I did TikTok, not this January, the previous January. I just couldn't get into it. It's not my clientele. I think we could all agree. Beautiful. Now, I, I do want to add a little bit of salt to this. What's going on, Rose? Can I borrow your salt, Rose, honey? A little bit of salt. It smells good already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then... Oh, Rose! That's, that's a big glass for you, sister, mister. I'm very glad we did this outside today. This is really fun. Look at Rose. You can't get the water out of there. What are you, a horse? Are you a horse? There's only one horse. There's only one horse. His name is Arthur T. Alma C. Well, thank you guys for taking the time the other day to fill out my question on the community tab about what kind of videos you want to see. That was very helpful. And then I'm going to take this leftover uh, mixture here. This is the, uh, this is the tikka masala beef kebab mixture we did for the five ingredient recipe for the cookbook today amazing stuff i just want to cook it i don't want to touch it because i don't want to go inside somebody's asking where do you buy your celtic sea salt uh amazon it's on my amazon shop page click the link at the very bottom of the description box amazon.com slash shop slash flav city i have the kosher salt for cooking and the chunky gray salt for finishing at b i've known bobby since late in uh, high school so let's try to do this 20 some years i'm gonna try to just Put this on as like a big patty or something like that. It's like there a we burger. Go. That worked. Yeah, burger. It's a uh, tikka masala burger. Art pointed out some irony today. What was that, Art? Indian uh, inspired dish made of beef, which probably <laughs> wouldn't go over very well for most of the country, I would think. And then I said, I believe nowadays there's more Indians in India eating beef. And Art said, Where's your data? Where's my data? And I said, I don't have any. I just feel like that's the case. You said it so confident. I'm pretty sure. I'm like, well, I say everything gonna... confidently as if I know, but someone back me up. I feel like there's more Indians eating. Uh, no, in India, I feel like too. Oh, I don't think so, babe. It's a sacred Let's come back here. For the Arthur. record, Desi said, I don't think so, babe. <laughs> babe. Babe, it's a sacred animal. Cows roam around free on the streets and they're made way by mm -hmm. people and by cars. So I don't think they slaughter them and eat them. <laughs> mm. Getting rained on again. Breathing Nerdum's having a zucchini noodle alfredo with pan fried chicken. Dang, that sounds keto and delicious. People in India don't eat beef. Right. I'm some onion, maybe I'm wrong. But Richard says conviction of your argument works with his wife. I like that. Can you make a compound butter with a ghee? Um, no, because all of the lactose is it won't hold up. melted away, so it won't hold up. Yeah. Organic grapes and uh, strawberries. If you put it in the refrigerator, will it like solidify? Not the right texture, Mama. 
All right, so we're going to finish chopping bacala. Jill, Jill Chopsky chimed in that they do eat beef if they're Catholic. Ah, see? I, that's what that's I, true. I think there's more and more Catholics in India. Desi's dream is to go to India, right, babe? Yeah. And I think we probably have a fair amount of fans in India. Imagine they showed us, like, the most amazing time oh, there. Oh, that would be amazing. We can go to the beach in Goa, the Rajasthan Triangle. The Golden Triangle. The Golden Triangle. Is that better than the... Well, obviously. That's better than the Viagra Triangle in Chicago. Hello, Bobby. I just purchased your book. I'm here daily following you and your family. Love you guys. Hola, beautiful Rose. Mercy oh. Newsom at Mercy's Mirror Me Espejo. Mercy. Muchas gracias. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. The book is still a number one bestseller now after 14 months. Isn't that crazy? Wow. And I'm getting really good wow. feedback from people about the new cookbook. In case you don't know, semi-homemade five-ingredient meals using the best-in-class products and ingredients at the grocery store like... The goju jang, like the coconut aminos, like coconut or avocado oil mayonnaise, teaching you so much uh, shopping tips in the book with recipes. It'll be out December 1st, pre-orders probably a couple of months before that. I think it's going to be a huge success. Deborah Durden, tonight made your kale tagliatelle with Ooh, chicken yeah. wings. A few people are making the uh, kale tagliatelle already. I got an email from Renee Durham today. She said it was great too, so cheers to you. I think that that is probably one of Desi's favorite recipes in the new cookbook. It's a five ingredient kale and mushroom ragu with tagliatelle gluten-free pasta with the best gluten-free pasta on the market. Crazy stuff. I also have a five ingredient uh, spaghetti carbonara. Somebody is asking how you clean your vegetables. Oh, uh, I just wash them with hot water. Um, sometimes if I have something like an avocado, I'll put a little bit of uh, soap on there. Art says don't do it, but I, don't do it. I do it here and there. All right. All right, Rose, we'll be back. So we got a beautiful salad here. To recap, red cabbage, that's conventional. Organic kale, because it's dirty. Um, a little bit of carrots in there. Please make sure to always season your salad with a little bit of salt and pepper. I see a super chat, Art. I see one too. Love, JCA78, four ninety nine. Wow. Just made salmon mm, fish cakes from the Yes, cookbook. girl. Love you, Bobby, Desi, Rose, and Art. Thank you for that super chat. So in the new cookbook, I have a five ingredient uh, version that's also keto, that's not from the old cookbook. It's um, wild salmon, almond flour soaked in uh, water, some seasonings, and then for the store-bought ingredient, it's the uh, Primal Kitchen avocado oil tartar sauce. It's an amazing recipe with five ingredients, four fresh ones, one store-bought ingredient, coming together to make quick and easy recipes anyone can make. Hello, your boy, when you see him at the street. We just got another super chat. What? Carsto, 2099 Whoa, Canadian. Canadian. Hey, Bobby, thanks for all the great content on your channel. Boom Toronto. From Toronto. Dude, I want to go to Toronto so bad. I hear such great things. Um, okay, I need to go in again because I need something for this. You know what? I was going to say, forget that. Let's just do it rustic style. Let's just build our dressing in our bowl. We're out here already, so let's do this. Check this out, Art. This is keto mayonnaise. What makes it keto? It's made with coconut oil. And because it's coconut oil has MCTs, I mean, is it technically keto? But yeah, so is avocado oil mayonnaise. It just has the bonus of the MCTs. Um, Chosen Food, by the way, makes some great stuff a lot of people don't know about. They have brand new uh, simmer sauces. By the way, has anyone ever heard of a simmer sauce? I'm relatively new to that game. But they have these new simmer sauces made with avocado oil at Whole Foods. They have a Mexican one called the Guajillo and some other chili simmer sauce. I used it for the five ingredient pressure cooker chili recipe for the book. All right, how good was that? Delicious. Delicious. They have a Muhammara simmer sauce, which is a North uh, or African uh, or Middle Eastern, I'm sorry. Uh, what is it again? Oh, it's a walnut and uh, what's that fruit called? Pomegranate kind of spread. Delicious stuff. Madeline, the answer is yes. You want to hear the question, Bobby? Yeah, please. When I see people buying things like canola oil or non-organic oats, I just want to tell them it's not Bobby approved. Do you ever feel the urge to give strangers guidance at the grocery store? I've done it many times, Maddie. I kind of stop now unless I feel like they're really like indecisive and they need help. So mayonnaise, um, stone ground mustard, a little bit of toasted sesame oil, a little dabble do ya. Open sesame. A little bit of limon juice. By the way, isn't this kind of fun cooking outside, you guys? Let's we should name? do this more often. What is the name of the book? 
Uh, it's going to be called semi-homemade five ingredient meals. Easy and healthy recipes using the best in class Bobby approved ingredients from the grocery store. Every recipe will have photos. Every recipe will have macros and anyone can make the recipes. Do you guys think it's going to be popular? Cause I think it's going to be very, very well received. Uh, what else? You know, let's just put a dash of aminos in there just to reinforce that flavor. All right, let's go to the grill and see what's going on here. Do it. Do you have your uh, flashlight we can flash on here? A little dark, maybe. I do. Art's always prepared. Are you a Boy Scout, Art? Uh, I didn't go far. <laughs> nice. Nice. Now, the crust on this would be even better if we marinated it longer. But this is still pretty good for what our purpose is. I don't have a spatula. Let's see if I can flip Did this. Did he just toss the lemon over the balcony? No, I have a, a garbage can that was out a of garbage there. can there. That's clever camera work, though. <laughs> but it is compostable, so it'd be okay. Let's close the lid just for a second. I'll come back. Not just into the garden area. And we'll mix up this salad. Oh, you know what? I got the strawberries here. I was so disappointed at the beginning of strawberry season because they were all bland especially those Driscoll's from California, but now they're totally making up for it. And they're really, really tasty. And they're on sale everywhere right now. Whole Foods has a good deal, but the deal at uh, Costco is legit. I don't feel very good about having that lid down. Are your salad dressing recipes going to be in the new book? Um, no, the salads I have on there are pretty rustic. See, when you have a five ingredient cookbook, you don't have room to do a recipe and a dressing. So the ones in there will either be my go-to pantry dressings, which are olive oil, salt and pepper, and vinegar or lemon juice. Lemon juice is a fresh ingredient that counts as one. Or I'll say, hey, buy the Primal Kitchen Ranch or the chosen food. I just don't have enough ingredients to be like, here's a salad and here's a homemade uh, recipe. Hey, uh, mate or might, uh, that five ingredient tagliatelle will be in the book. Yes, so that's going to be in the book. Spectacular. So you cook wild mushrooms, get a pack of wild mushrooms from the grocery store until they're caramelized. You add a bunch of garlic uh, and then you boil the pasta. You add the kale to the mushrooms. You combine the cooked pasta in the mushroom and kale ragu. You put a cup slowly. You put a cup of cooking water from the pasta that has the starch in there with about two cups of grated Parmesan cheese and you keep adding and folding and it makes the most lovely creamy sauce out of basically nothing. It's really magic. Desi was blown away by it. And I used that jovial brown rice egg tagliatelle. It's the only uh, gluten-free pasta I've seen at the store that uses eggs and organic eggs. So non-GMO organic eggs and brown rice organic pasta, meaning it's a whole grain, gluten-free grain. Ah. Amazing. Joe wants way. to know if that uh, red Flav City pepper mill will be available with the Flav City logo on it. Um, no. So the company who makes this, it's called Fletcher's Mill. It's on my Amazon shop page, but they actually made me like five years ago, two versions with the Flav City. Well, hey, maybe I should have man in the market for that. Oh, that's really good. Wow. It'd be, it's Tasty. Jovial. That's the name of the brand. It's Jovial. Get the Tagliatelle. It's the only one they make that has eggs. And the egg gives such a great flavor. Speaking of flavor, Art, look at that easy salad. Who needs to mix a dressing on the side? That's silly. That's done. Okay, Art, right, come back yonder. Things are going pretty well tonight. In case you missed it earlier, go to my Instagram story. We made a five-ingredient version of those beef kebabs we made last week. We did a tikka masala kebab with yogurt sauce and grilled peppers. Then Desi made a five ingredient peach crisp with sugar-free, dairy-free, uh, store-bought ice cream on top with five ingredients. It was amazing. Very important question though. Yes. Don't want to get off the salad conversation yes. too soon. We got a breaking question from Viviana Barraza. Uh -oh. Is it gangbusters? Uh, Maybe it's about the pasta. I don't know. The pasta was gangbusters. Okay. Viviana. I don't use that term Loosely, Viviana. If I say something is gangbusters, it better be G to the bust. That's all I got to say. All right, check out what's going on here. This is done. The bigger thighs might need another minute or so. 
Milwaukee Brewer, $5. What is it that we need to watch with brown rice? I seem to recall that rice from California was superior. Is a jovial pasta free from issues? Yeah, great question. Brown rice uh, ranks a little higher in arsenic, but USA grown, California grown rice is very low in arsenic. It's a heavy metal from the ground. I don't know for sure where they get that rice from. That being said though, when you're getting gluten-free uh, pasta, it should be made with whole gluten-free grains, not simple starches like ta ta potato starch, corn starch, corn flour, and tapioca starch. These aren't. Hello. Richard will work for food, right? Yeah. On the grill? In summer, yeah. Danielle Colby asks, do you guys have your own little garden? Um, no, because we don't have enough room here. The only thing we have is a little bit of wild mint down there. So guys, everything's done here. Come take a look over here, Artie. Everything is done and looking beautiful. Just to keep it nice and moist, I'll spray some avocado oil on there. And then I'll Happy put, cows come just from put this Wisconsin, on the grill. not California. Yeah. Could just That's right. on the stove, it might be easier. Yeah, I'm not going back. Okay. Rose, get over here, sister. So this is Rose's leftover coconut cream stew. Just gonna put that here. Yeah, Pamela. Uh, some states Seco isn't able to ship to. And it yes, like unfortunately, Rhode might be one of them. Yeah, based on your experience. This looks really good. Wow. A lot of people crust. are bummed about that. Yeah, I don't know what the regulations with alcohol are. That must be a little different. Different states have their own thing. Yeah. I'm guessing. Hey, any Texans tried to order? I'm guessing you can't, from what I remember. Oh, you think Texas, so? But actually, no, because you can buy, you can buy wine in a regular grocery store. So maybe I'm wrong. Okay, that. let's put everything away. And then we'll serve. Very, very easy. Whoa, Rachel! $30. Rachel! San Quentin in the house. Sorry I'm late. Super crazy at the queue. You couldn't believe what's going on over here. We need need a good recipe for the Denver lamb ribs I got, Shepherd Meats. Ooh, damn. You got the lamb ribs? Oh, that's good. I would low and slow. I would put a spice rub on them. I have a five ingredient baby back rib from the cookbook. I would, oh, do, a right. I would do a spice rub. Low and slow, cook them in a tinfoil pouch with a little bit of beer and apple cider vinegar. Then throw them on the grill at the end with a little bit of Primal Kitchen barbecue sauce. Delicious. Cheers to Rachie Murray all the way from San Quentin. When is the new cookbook available? 12-1. Is this 12 recipe keto-friendly? Yes, yes it, is. it is. This man is watching his net carbs. Quarantine makes you get big. Yeah, unfortunately. Isn't that the worst timing? Quarantine happened and then right into summer season when it was beach season and everything. Okay, Rose. I have your cookbook, and I'm lactose intolerant. Will this help? Um, oh, will yeah. the book help? Okay. Yeah, the yeah. book. So the book has very low dairy, and any dairy you see in the book is usually from, like, yogurt. Use my favorite Bobby-approved dairy-free yogurt at the yeah. store. Get, like, a Kite Hill Greek-style plain mm -hmm. yogurt. and use that to make my yogurt sauces. We eat almost no dairy at home. So the book will uh, hook you up 100%. Go to Jang Parms asking lemon juice to finish off those thighs. Why not? Goju Jang? Uh, I got Sai it. Manoj El Elandula. Is the cookbook available in digital? The new cookbook will, and the current cookbooks too. But to be honest, the hard copy is such a better experience. Where'd my knife go? Oh, I took it. That's okay. Karsto is claiming that uh, I have a new doppelganger. I remind him of a. Sorry, I don't know if it's a him. Okay, I'm going to go inside and get some plates. A new Jim Cuddy from the Canadian band Blue Rodeo. I don't know Blue Rodeo. That's all pops and buzzes to me. I'll have to look that up. Oh, okay, careful, Rosie. I'm going to go this way. Excuse me, guys. I'm going to go in and get uh, some Just plates. Two or three times you've gone in. I think it's only the second time, to be honest. Rosie, I'll get you. I'll get you, girl. Rose. All right, so what questions y'all have in the meantime here? Let's see if I can answer any of them. Rose, what is Rose is sad. Rose is good. But yeah, definitely go with the hard copy when it comes to the cookbooks. It's a much better experience. Rachel Murray asks a question for you, Rose. Rose, Rose, where are your toes? There we go. Uh, question is Rose teething. She has been teething for seven months now. Hello. <laughs> I wasn't going to go far, Rosie. Now, if you guys didn't hear me say earlier, 
Uh, for the fellas out there, I got a sweet discount code on these Roan workout clothes. Really cool company that makes all men's clothing. 15% uh, off using my link down below. I found them for Father's Day and got a bunch of stuff. Really high quality stuff made in Canada, made in the USA. Awesome stuff. So fellas, if you need some workout gear, 15% off down below. Breathing Nerdum was good 4th of July. How's yours? Okay. Grilled some burgers, low key. How's Rose's food doing here? Let me see. Jim Cuddy. I'm gonna have to look up Jim Cuddy. Never heard of that dude. Needs a few more minutes. Ah, uh, actually, no, Brad. Pretty good. Uh, Bobby finally got propane. Done. Propane was the issue. I mean, he's not very happy about his grill, but the main issue was he didn't have propane, and then uh, figured, well, can't be borrowing the neighbor's grill all the time, so he got some propane. What should be my next grill? When we buy a new place, should I get a Traeger grill? I'm not gonna get um, a charcoal grill because I don't have time to uh, deal with that when I want a quick uh, dinner. But should I get a Traeger, one of those wood pellet grills? I'm gonna have to think long and hard about that. I think, you, I think, I think you that. need a good gas grill. There are some good ones. Yeah, no, I agree. Maybe I can get both, a gas grill and a Traeger. Cause I want that smoke flavor too, Art, you know? Okay, Rose, here you go, Swister. Are you okay with ancient grains from Costco? Ancient grains, um, like those ancient grain beans. You talking about those? Um, yeah, for the most part, those are fine. Um, but those ancient legumes, they're not organic, and that kind of makes me nervous because non-organic. Uh, sure. Like legumes uh, score high in glyphosate, the active Is ingredient. Is there a Flave City that. Shepherd Meats promo? Yes, always go there. Use Flave City at uh, checkout know. and get fifteen percent off. The uh, Tasmanian grass fed beef, the bones, the pasture raised chicken. Do spices have to be organic? Um, yes and no. I mean, some do. Like smoked paprika is made from red peppers. Red peppers are on the dirty dozen. So yeah. Oh, you brought the knife inside, didn't you? Oh, I'm going in again. Oh, it's here. If you guys are playing the Bobby drinking game, going inside, you're not going to be that hammered today because I only went in a couple times. All right, Rose, check out these beautiful. All right, look at the crust on this chicken. Really beautiful. You're welcome, Catherine. Oh, look at Art zooming there. Wow. Oh, yeah. Where should I put this for Ross, honey? Uh, put it on my plate. Here, Ross. My mom can't yet. Oh, not yet. Don't listen to me, Ross. Mmm, chicken is monosity. Let's try to have some veggies in here. Sure, have your veggies, Marshy. Okay, you want to serve us some salad, Ross? Okay, so here's the beauty. Check it out. So you got that nice crust on there. To be honest, my favorite parts are like this. The charred edges are great. But look at the thighs. It's just the beauty of cooking thighs. Very hard to overcook. Whereas if you cook with chicken brush, oh. so easy to overcook. So, mmm. The flavor of the marinade, even though it's sitting there for 15 minutes, is dino. Totally dino. So we put a little bit of chicky on the plate. Some for rose too. Then I come here. Can I use your tongs, Rose? Rose, no. Can I have your tongs, Rosie? Whoa! Thank you. Yeah, this is the iPhone. Uh, whoever just asked, I missed the name. Sorry. I put some yeah, gonna give you one. Yeah, gonna give salad you one. down here. And there it is, you guys. Rose, Danny's gonna give you one. There's for you, Rose. Boom. Here. Here, eat, and then eat. for me and Farturo. Here, this for you. This for you. I'll let Art cut his own chicken. But here, this is gonna be for me. So here, I want this and a super charred piece like that. Oh, yeah, is it good? Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> Rose loves to dance when she's fed well. How'd you come up with the name Flav City? Ooh, great question. So initially it was Flavor City because my buddy and I used to always say, oh dude, this is Sick Bird City. This is like Tasty City. So Flavor City was like, I love flavor, to Flavor City, and initially I was like, oh, I'll travel to different cities and try the food, but then I'm like, who do I think I am? Like Food Network with a big budget? So no. But then Flavor City got shortened to Flav City because a friend's wife actually said, you know, just shorten it, it's better, right? Mm, yeah. yeah. Originally it was just because, I mean, you always said city after everything. Yes. Yeah. Correct. We, we wanted something about taste. Yeah. And flavor. Correct. That is correct. Okay. Is your new app launching valid to use in UK? 
good question. I don't know. Oh, uh, the barcode scanner is going to be completely different there. So I'm not 100% sure. All right, that's for you. Thank you. For you. For you. Steven Nowak, greetings from Milwaukee. Go Brewers. Yeah, I don't know about that. We're going to be playing <laughs> Cubs and Brewers on the Opening 24th day. of July. Opening our, day. Cheers, you guys. Flav City and Flavortown rivals. This yeah. Art. Actually, when I met this Guy Fieri art. for the first time, I was at a trade show and he saw Flav City. He's like, Flav City? I'm like, yeah. Flav City is like uh, 25 miles down the road from Flavortown. He got a good laugh out of that. 1,200 people watching right now. All right. Yes, this is pretty good for Tuesday. We popped on last second. So, Art, right, show your plate again. That's what we made. We made a goju jing marinated chicken thighs. The beef is just a little bit of a leftover beef from our cookbook shot today. And a beautiful red cabbage and kale slaw. Everything's clean. Everything's perfect for the summer. Let's just try a bite of all this together, and then I want to show Art trying it. <laughs> oh! What's up, Adrian? Okay, you sit right there. Eat, young laddie. Get a nice bite here. Uh, now the tarp is behind me, Brad. Richard Desi does the pictures for the cookbook. That is her work. That's amazing Both what books. we turn out in a small two-bedroom condo, you guys. Chicken thighs are juicy AF, marinated beautifully, but that salad is so tangy and creamy and crunchy. It's a perfect compliment to the chicken because the chicken has no texture. The uh, salad yeah, does. Mm. Wow. That leftover uh, tikka masala beef. Great. All right, give me the camera. I want to show you eating. Okay. Eat this. Mm. All right, shaking Where's McGee here. Too? Is that my knife? Yes. Oh, I got beef. I got had our... Hey, everybody. Gina, $5 super chat. Oh, thank you. Gina. Thank you for the help. And lean eating, chemo wrecks your body. Trying to be as clean as possible. Appreciate well, it. Yeah, chemo does wreck your body, but you got to eat super duper clean, Gino. This is for you. Keto is the cancer killer. That is a complex flavor profile. <laughs> I'm not just saying that. There's a whole lot of stuff going on in there. It's good. All right, and texture yeah. too. Yeah. Rose, how's your chicken? Is it good? Is your chicken good, Rose? All right, describe the flavor and texture of the salad, maybe. If you're on Team Crunch, as we are. Yes. You're going to love that. <laughs> it's got that crunch you're looking for. It's got, it's a creamy dressing. Try the salad. And, uh, it's a lot of umame going on there. Yes, yeah, see, the umame from the tamari, the coconut aminos, the fish sauce. You know, a lot of stuff in there. So. Uh, Arifa. Pasture raised is good, but you still want to get organic pasture raised. But yeah, it's legit. If it says pasture raised, it is legit. But still, pasture raised has GMO grain supplemental feed, which is why you want organic. Rose, honey, how's your food? How's your food? Is it yummy? Hey! Oh, Rose, there's a question here from uh, Tamara. Question, Rose, where is your hair? Yeah, that's it. That's your hair. Yes. Yep. Oh, one more question. Rose, where are your hands? <laughs> Brava. Jill Chopsky, $20 super $20. chat. All the way from Michigan. Jill, where in uh, Michigan are you? I forgot. I know Char's in Michigan. Mm. And then Rose, what do you do when I say, hey, Rose, can I have a hug? Can I have a hug? Yeah, you do that. You say, your head to the side. Thank you, sweetie. Mwah. Too sweet. Too sweet. So, guys, wow. Very, very fun, impromptu live stream. Great crowd for a last-second uh, stream here. Uh, this is how we roll on a Tuesday. All day we've been doing cookbook photos. Now we get to do dinner with y'all. We'll be back Thursday. We'll be back Friday. Got more recipes and videos coming at you all week. Uh, but for Rose Honey Bunny, the love of my life, and Desi and Art, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love. Peace. If you want the keto wine, link down below. Fellas, if you want the really good workout gear for 15% off, link down below. All that good stuff. Mwah. Rose, can Daddy have a kiss? Thank Ooh, you. Super chat. Ah, oh, Marcy. Mercy Newsome. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> Later, guys. Awesome time.